Hello traders and welcome to another episode of BT Markets Traders Brew Podcast, where we will discuss market movements and help you navigate the financial markets. Today we are exploring a personally fascinating topic for me, uh, cryptocurrency CFDs. Now I've had some experience with cryptocurrency, but mostly it's in the spot context. So this topic is something that's sort of new to me. And cryptocurrencies need a CFD, right? I mean, it's been born in the internet and people trade with it on the internet, right? So it essentially, it's really acting like a derivative on its own. So in this episode, we'll sort of unravel the complexity of cryptocurrency CFDs, starting with the basics of what they are and how they function. We will then discuss the key differences between trading actual cryptocurrencies and trading their CFDs. Our conversation will also cover the latest trends in the cryptocurrency CFDs market, cryptocurrencies, and the reasons behind their popularity. We'll delve into common strategies used by traders and effective risk management techniques essential for navigating this volatile market. We have with us today Sarah Yamamoto, Japanese market country manager at VT Markets. Sarah is an experienced industry veteran and has experience in many products, especially derivatives and CFDs. Hi, Sarah. Thank you for joining us today. How are things? Hello. Um, uh, my name is Sarah Yamamoto. Actually, I was a crypto trader, crypto dealer before, so I hope I can share some knowledge of mine to you. Perfect. Right. So since I'm entirely new to this whole idea, right? can you mm. briefly explain what cryptocurrency CFDs are and you know how they work? Okay. Um, Okay, the crypto CFD trading, it means that it's like a trading is like a playing a game where you can guess if something like a toys price, it will be go up or go down. But instead of buying the toy, you make a pretend trade. If you guess right, you get pretend money. If you guess wrong, you lose some pretend money. It's a way for people to try to make guesses about the prices without actually buying the real thing. This is a safety trading. I see. That's that's interesting. You say that's pretend money. So, but 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 uh, I guess at the end of the day, that, that pretend money can translate to real money. Am I yeah, right? Yeah, that's a, of course, of course. <laughs> that's interesting. Uh, but but you know we. Like you know, like how I said in my intro, right? You know, I I don't really see the the the, the main, I guess, the distinction, right? Mm -hmm. So what what's the main difference between trading actual cryptocurrency, seeing mm -hmm. that you were previously from you know the crypto cryptocurrency markets, and trading you know cryptocurrency CFDs, right? Mm -hmm. You you said that it's about pre, pre, you know about pretend money, and, and you you essentially get the same sort of benefits, right? Yeah, uh, that's but right. what's what's the key difference between the both of them? Okay, uh, the actual cryptocurrencies, uh, when you buy actual cryptocurrencies, you own them and uh, can use them to buy things or hold on to them. Uh, also, you can store them in a digital wallet and uh, they are yours to keep. If the price goes up, you can sell them for more money. And uh, cryptocurrency CFDs, uh, with CFDs, you are not buying the actual cryptocurrency. Instead, you are making a bet on whether the price will go up or go down. You don't own the coin. You are just trading on its price movement. CFDs allow you to trade with leverage, meaning you can make a bigger trade, <clears throat> bigger trades with less money. So, trading actual cryptocurrencies allow the traders to own the actual underlying asset and uh, gain direct exposure. But uh, trading cryptocurrency CFDs allow traders to take a leveraged position in the price movement and the spectrum without owning the asset itself. So, each method has clear advantages <clears throat> and risks. And uh, traders should make their choice based on their investment goals, risk tolerance, and uh, comfort with the financial instrument. Mm, okay, I, that makes sense to me. And you, you talked about you know uh, trading actual cryptocurrencies. You know, there's the whole hassle about having to buy the cryptocurrencies and store it in a digital wallet. Mm -hmm. So. I guess in that sense, it's it's a little bit more risky. I mean, I, I read a lot of news about about people, you know, getting their wallets hacked. About, you know, yeah. that even if you put it on the like a centralized exchange, right? There's there's mm. there's some some level of risk, right? We we've seen it happen before for uh, what was it, FTX, right? So <laughs> yeah, so so 
So having the actual asset itself may seem safer because you know you think you own something, right? But at the mm-hmm. same time, there's also that risk of you know uh, storage and having yep. uh, owning the ex- asset itself. Not to mention mm-hmm. like the uh, the thousands and millions of Bitcoin that have been sort of like locked because because those those people forgot their you know mm-hmm. security key, right? Mm-hmm. So <clears throat> yeah, I I I can I I guess I can start to see like the sort of benefits of trading the cryptocurrency mm-hmm. CFDs. You know, you got you get the benefit of the price action, yep. but you. You uh-huh. don't really have the risk of owning the asset itself, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, mm-hmm. I, I, can, I can get along with that, right? So yeah. what, what would you say are the current trends in the cryptocurrency CFDs market right now? Um, okay, more people trading, like uh, more friends playing a game together. More people are trading cryptocurrencies. They are interested in buying and selling them to try to make money. The second is new coins and games. Just like uh, new toys coming out, there are always new cryptocurrencies to trade. People are curious about these new coins and uh, want to see which one will be popular. And the third is uh, learning and sharing. People are talking more about how to trade cryptocurrencies. They are learning new ways to trade and sharing tips with each other, like uh, friends sharing how to play a new game. Mm. And uh, next is uh, watching prices, like uh, keeping an eye on the score in a game. Mm -hmm. Traders are watching how the prices of cryptocurrencies go up and down. They want to buy when prices are low and Mm -hmm. sell when prices are high to make a profit. The last one is technology helping. Technology is making it easier to trade, just like new tools in a game. There are applications and websites that help people trade cryptocurrencies faster and safer. Mm -hmm. Mm, These trends show how exciting and popular trading cryptocurrencies can be, just like uh, playing a fun and interesting game. I see. Right. Okay. So so you would say, okay, I I think the thing that... that came out the most to me is that you say that it's it's really a, a lot of i guess uh what i call a peer-to-peer networking right people are talking and they're sharing their ideas on how to trade and what mm-hmm. to trade right mm-hmm. so it's 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 not really a uh i guess a, a solo ac- activity right i know mm-hmm. people have this image of you know traders being like stuck at home and then they're just like trading and handling mm-hmm. their own uh, portfolio all the time mm-hmm. just looking at the markets all the time but you're telling me <clears throat> that uh, you know there's this trend in cryptocurrency of these that people actually go up i mean they, they connect with one another and they're sort of advising one another on what they feel might might be changing within within the short term are you saying that's what ha- what's happening right now yeah that's right yes well, that's like, that's pretty cool. <laughs> I mean, seriously, right? You, you, if you come from the cryptocurrency markets, right? You would know yeah. that the, the usual term that people describe cryptocurrency traders, degen, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I there's a reason so. why uh-huh. why they call them degens, right? I'm just mm-hmm. I'm just I'm not gonna talk too much about it, but there's a re- reason why they call them degens, right? And so mm-hmm. they, that doesn't really usually, you know, said it comes out as in in a good light so mm-hmm. the fact mm-hmm. that they are out there interacting with people and you mm-hmm. know getting to know what people think and sharing their opinions and and mm-hmm. you know their perspectives I, I think that's that's a really great thing yep. and mm-hmm. So so we, we 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 know that they are interested in new coins, right? But mm-hmm. but you know CFDs they 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 don't really take on all the coins. I mean, there are like a thousand and one. Okay, sorry, maybe thousand is a bit of understatement. I don't know, a million and one coins out there in the market. Anybody mm-hmm. can come up with a with a meme coin or or any kind of altcoin, right? Uh, mm-hmm. Any these days. So. Uh, at least in the CFDs market, uh, mm-hmm. what are which cryptocurrencies are the most popular right now, and why? Um, the most popular cryptocurrencies among CFD traders is uh, typically include Bitcoin because uh, Bitcoin remains the most popular choice because it is the first and the largest cryptocurrency by market capitalization. Its high liquidity makes it easy to buy and sell quickly. In addition, Bitcoin's price volatility provides uh, frequent trading opportunities and uh, is attractive to CFD traders looking to profit mm. from price movement. Mm, I see. Well, but you would say, I mean, having experienced the cryptocurrency market, uh, Bitcoin is, I mean, I know people who trade CFDs 
are in it for the volatility, right? It's, the mm, price mm. action is really where the money is at, right? So uh, Bitcoin is, I guess, compared to a lot of other crypto is, is relatively stable. So yeah. uh, aside from Bitcoin, is there, are there any other sort of, uh, you know, CFDs that typically see any any action? Mm, okay, uh, I, I'm in Japan and uh, my market was Japanese market and uh, when I was trading <clears throat> a cryptocurrency, at that time, you know, people trade Ripple because it's very cheap. Mm -hmm. So the people who doesn't have money can try the cryptocurrency trading. And Ethereum, Litecoin is also popular. And uh, Japanese people, many Japanese people like uh, minor coins, like a Shiba coin, mm -hmm. those are things. I'm not sure about the other countries, but uh, <clears throat> in Japan, of course, Bitcoin is the biggest market. I and see. also, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Makes sense. Okay. So, <laughs> so you're saying that that uh, there is market for other coins, but Bitcoin remains the prime asset for choice of choice in Japan. Right? Mm -hmm. People, the traders just trust it, and it it basically entails everything that uh, you know the CFD traders want in an asset. Right, yeah, that's that's right, most of the time. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Right. So, uh, what are some common strategies that traders might use when dealing with cryptocurrency CFDs? Um, traders who play with crypto CFDs use a different strategy to try and guess if the price will go up or go down. Um, okay, again, let's use toys as an example. The one is a trend following. This is like following what other friends are doing. If many friends want their toys, is the price might go up. So traders might bet it will keep going on. The next is technical analysis. Some traders look at the charts and graphs to see patterns in the toy's price change. They think these patterns can tell them if the price will go up or go down. Also, news trading. Just like when big news about a toy comes up, uh, traders pay attention to new about cryptocurrencies. Good news might make the price go up and the bad news might make it go down. The last is a risk management. Traders also think about how much pretend money, <clears throat> how much their money they can risk. They might not bet all their pretend money on the one guess to stay safe. These strategies help um, traders try to guess which way the prices, cryptocurrencies will move, like a game of, of prediction the future. Okay, right. So uh, I think we take a tangent now from this. Right? We were talking about the trade trading aspect of cryptocurrency CFD so mm. far, right? Mm. I want to talk about like, you know, the externalities, the other things that sort of affect uh, the cryptocurrency CFD market, right? Uh, can you tell me a little bit about how regulations might impact the cryptocurrency CFDs market? Uh, we know crypto is something that a lot of people, I mean, a lot of a big, I guess mm -hmm. the government, right? The, the government does care a lot about crypto, right? So, mm -hmm. so you know, how, how, how do their regulations impact the cryptocurrency CFD market? CFD market, okay. Um, imagine you are playing a game with your friends and everyone agrees on the rules to make sure it's fair to everyone. Regulation is the cryptocurrency CFD market, uh, like uh, those rules. The one is uh, keeping things fair. Regulations make sure everyone plays by the same rules when trading cryptocurrencies. It helps to prevent cheating and keeps the game fair for everyone. The second is protecting players. Just like uh, wearing helmets and pads in sports keeps you safe, regulations protect people who trade cryptocurrencies. They make sure everyone knows that they are doing and, uh, and uh, their money is safe. And the last one is uh, setting limits. Regulations set limits on how much risk people can take when trading. It's like uh, making sure everyone stays safe while having fun. Overall, uh, regulation in the cryptocurrency CFD market are um, important because they make sure trading is fair, safe, and everyone follows the rules, just like in uh, any games you play with your friends.
Mm. Okay, so so regulations do impact it in some way because if you know the rules of the game change a little bit, yep. mm. then then obviously you know the market will have to shift, right? Uh, mm. to, to sort of accommodate the the changes. Uh, yep. so so since they're this important, right? You know, mm-hmm. are there any upcoming regulatory changes that you know traders should be more aware of, like things that they should be looking out for? Mm, I think the. Mm, it's important to know about these changes so you can keep playing the trading and the trading um, game fairly and safely. In the world of trading cryptocurrencies, sometimes the rule or regulation change to make sure everyone is playing by the same fair rules. Traders should be aware of these changes because uh, they can affect how they buy, sell, and uh, trade cryptocurrencies. For example, New rules might say how much money you can trade with or how to keep your information safe. It's like learning new rules for a game to make sure everyone has fun and no one gets hurt. Mm-hmm. So, just like, <laughs> so just like in um, any games or activities, it's good to know the rules and uh, any changes coming up so you can keep playing uh, safely and uh, enjoyably in the cryptocurrency yep. trading the world. Yep. So there no there is no one real like sort of regulatory change. You know, when they do it's 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 not really sweeping or affecting the whole market as a whole, right? I mean and especially I, I guess the derivative product is just less uh uh, manage than the, the mm. actual spot product itself right? if you're mm-hmm. handling like the assets itself i'm sure there are more rules but as a cfd because it's a derivative right so it, it doesn't yep. really come in uh you know there are not a lot of rules that are handling it so there's more freedom for you to mm. act i guess in a sense uh, more mm-hmm. freedom for you to trade and more flexibility on 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 managing uh the, the crypto cfds rather than spot cfds it's a uh, spot cryptocurrencies itself okay yep. mm-hmm. right uh and and we always heard this debate, right? Like uh, yeah. it's it's a pretty big debate happening for you know market analysts of worldwide. It doesn't just apply to cryptocurrency; it applies mm-hmm. to any other product that you know in the world, right? Mm-hmm. So uh, it's always this uh, fundamental debate between technical analysis versus mm. fundamental analysis. You know, they 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 are like two separate camps. Yeah, so how true. important is this? Th- these different two different types of analysis in uh, this uh, cryptocurrency CFDs market. Okay, uh, that's a good question. Okay, for the technical analysis, it's like uh, looking at the map or weather forecast to see how things might change. Traders use charts and graphs to study how price has been moving. It helps them guess if the price might go up or down based on patterns they see. The fundamental analysis, this is like uh, learning about the basics of something. Traders look at things like uh, how popular a cryptocurrency is, what it's used for, and the news about it. This helps them decide if it's a good investment for the long term. Both technical and uh, fundamental analysis are important for traders. Technical analysis helps with uh, short-term predictions, like uh, what might happen soon. Fundamental analysis helps with uh, long-term decisions, like uh, whether to keep an investment for a while. Mm-hmm. In trading, using both type of analysis can help traders make smart decisions about when to buy and sell cryptocurrencies. It's like um, using different tools to understand a game better and play it well. I see. And, and of course, you know, uh, a good brokerage will come with you know necessary technical analysis and fundamental analysis to support uh, mm. the traders, right? Mm-hmm. I see. Okay, great, great. Because honestly, you know, this I, I'm, you know, having done a little bit of trading myself, I'm not an expert when it comes to analysis. So having mm-hmm. someone on my side to support mm-hmm. me and to guide me on, you know, what I ought to do, you know, is, is definitely, I mean, I wouldn't say guide, you know, like more to advise and mm-hmm. to share with me the perspectives of how a p- person should trade. I think that's mm-hmm. definitely very helpful for, for mm-hmm. me. Mm-hmm. Uh, are there any sort of technological advancements that are sort of exciting for CFD traders in at least in the cryptocurrency CFD context? One exciting thing for CFD traders is 
how fast computer and the internet are getting. This means the traders can get information and uh, make trades really quickly. Imagine you are playing a video game and uh, you can move your character super fast. Traders can now make trades almost as fast as that. Another cool thing is AI. It's like uh, having a smart helper that can learn and uh, make decisions, uh, predictions <clears throat> about what might happen in the market. For example, AI can look at uh, lots of data and help traders decide when to buy or sell something. Also, there are applications and websites that make it easy for traders to see charts and graphs of uh, how prices are changing. These tools help traders understand what's happening in the market and uh, make smart decisions about their trades. Um, those new trading, <clears throat> new um, technical is making it faster, smarter, and easier for CFD traders to trade stocks, cryptocurrencies, and other things. It's like uh, having a really cool tools to help you play a game and win. I see. Uh, you know, AI is really the one that 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 that's, that I guess is most interesting for me. I mean, we obviously use these days use a lot of AI in mm. to support the line of yeah. work that we do, right? And and I guess you know having AI on our side, at least when it comes to training, is is most interesting to me because AI learns, right? You know, they they may not get it right on the first try, they may not yep. get it right uh -huh. on the second, mm -hmm. yeah. But, but they can look at trends, they can slowly you know sort of modify the, the strategies. And I guess in that way, you know, it's it's sort of comforting, right? It, you know, mm. eventually that that you know because with with AI supporting you know CFD trading, I I can see you know eventually you know it will be a force for the greater good to help you know mm -hmm. sort of uh create to mm. understand market trends i guess yeah right, right. Mm. what 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 do you think are the most uh you know with all these tools and everything that support support a, a trader in this new journey right what are the most yep. significant risks associated with trading cryptocurrency cfds um trading cryptocurrency cfds can be fun but important to know about the risks uh like a uh, volatility Cryptocurrencies can go up and down in the price very quickly, like a roller coaster. This means you might make a lot of money, but also you could also lose a lot if the price goes down suddenly. The next is leverage. This is like a borrowing money to <clears throat> make bigger trades. It can help you make more money if things go well, but it also means you could lose more money if things don't go as planned. And uh, next is stable securities. Since the cryptocurrencies are digital, there is a risk of hacking, hackers trying to steal them. It's important to use a secure platform and keep your account safe. And again, regulations. Rules about trading cryptocurrencies can be changed, which might affect how you can trade or how safe your investments are. Also, lack of understanding. It's easy to get excited about trading, but it's also important to understand what you are doing and not just follow that others are doing. Learning and how markets work and making informed decisions is really important. So please remember, it's okay to trade for fun, but it's all it's also important to be very, very careful and not risk more money than you can afford to lose. Mm. That's, that's really very good advice. I think it, it doesn't apply for just, you know, uh, cryptocurrency CFDs, but in life, right? You know, you don't go out on a limb <laughs> and, you know, yeah, just, just risk everything you've got on, on the venture that you don't know whether you're willing to take, right? So, yeah. mm -hmm. so I think that's, that's good advice for life. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, but I'm sure there are things that people, that traders use to sort of like, protect themselves and mm -mm. you know when 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 things might go wrong right so i know traders for one use like in i mean not just for cryptocurrency cfds but cfds mm -hmm. in general there's this thing called a stop loss order yep. mm -hmm. right basically it's just i mean it's exactly as the name says you know stop the loss right mm -hmm. so how do they use these tools to mitigate you know uh, such risks that they might face when trading cryptocurrency cfds mm -hmm. 
Okay, stop loss is uh, when you set a stop loss order, you decide on a price where you will sell your cryptocurrency automatically. If the price starts going down too much, it's like uh, saying uh, if the mm, if the roller coaster starts going too low, I want to get off before it goes even lower. And uh, there are also tools like uh, charts and graphs that show you how the price of a cryptocurrency is uh, changing over time. By looking at this, you can decide when to buy or sell. It's like uh, checking the weather before decision to go outside. You want to know what's happening in the market before making a decision. So using these tools help traders protect themselves from losing too much money, just like a wearing helmet when riding a bike keeps you safe. And uh, using stop loss orders and other tools keep your money safer when trading cryptocurrencies. It's all about being smart and uh, making sure you are prepared for whatever happens in the market. Again, smart, smart advice. Uh, yeah, but but I think there is always a caveat here, right? Like it's it's always good to protect yourself, mm -hmm. but you also don't want to set it too high, right? Like too yep. close to your existing, because you might just it will execute no matter once the price point is hit, and if it does go up, right, you're gonna miss yep. out on all that price action. Am I right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, interesting. Uh, <laughs> what? So you know, knowing this these things right knowing that you know that we need all the support that we can get we need like features uh, to protect mm. yourself from possible risk right mm. so what are some features that you think traders should look for in a good cryptocurrency cfd trading platform um okay the first is securities it's like a good platform should keep your money safe from the hackers the next is uh, easy to use easy to use it's uh, user friendly it should be like uh, playing a game you understand easily where you can see what you're doing and how to trade. And the third is uh, charts and graphs. These are like uh, maps that show you how prices are changing. A good platform has a clear chart so you can see if prices are going up or down. Now, of course, customer support. Just like having a friend to help you, a good platform should have people you can ask questions to if you need help. And low commission, low fees. Like uh, paying less for your toys, a good platform charges fair fees to buying and selling cryptocurrencies so you can keep money for, <clears throat> oh, don't, sorry, you can keep more money. And last is education tools. It's important to learn about trading. A good platform might have videos or things to read that teach you how trading works and uh, how to make good decisions. So finding a platform with these features can help traders trade cryptocurrencies safely and understand how to make a smart choice in the market. Mm, that's that's th those are all good things that we should have, right? But it seems like there are a lot of these requirements. Uh, what are? <clears throat> can you recommend any platforms that you know you feel like matches these requirements or offer you know these advantages? Ah, uh, of course, VT Markets. Actually, I'm translating all education tools to Japanese, so Japanese people are almost ready. And our commission is very low. ACN is only $6 for return. And customer support, we don't have uh, Japanese customer support yet, but our support is 24-7. So even the midnight or even the very early morning, everyone mm -hmm. can <clears throat> ask our support to help. And uh, Perfect. Uh, yes. Mm. Okay, right, right. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, where, where do you see the cryptocurrency CFDs market then, you know, in the next five to 10 years, right? Next five, 10 years. Um, that's a difficult question. Okay, predicting the future can be tricky, but um, I have some ideas about uh, where the cryptocurrency CFD market might go in the next five to 10 years. The first is more people trading. More and more people might start trading cryptocurrencies as they become more popular and easier to understand. The next is new coins and technologies. We might see new type of cryptocurrencies and uh, technologies that make trading faster and safer.
And again, regulations. Governments might make rules about how people can trade cryptocurrencies to make sure it's fair and safe for everyone. And another thing is、uh, more tools for trades. Trading platform might get even better with more helpful tools and、uh, ways to learn about trading. And the market will be changes. Just like、uh, weather changes, the crypto market can go up and down. It's important to be careful and learn about it before trading. In the future, cryptocurrencies and trading could become a big part of how people buy things and invest their money. So it's exciting to think about what might happen next. I do feel like this is this what you have explained so far is relevant to the the next question I'm going to ask.、Uh, mm -hmm. You know where, <clears throat> you know you told me about how you, how you think the CFDs market is moving in the next five to ten years, and I think you know what what you've been trying to explain is that you know because the markets are so volatile and sort of unpredictable, right?、Mm -hmm. You know you, it's it's hard to really un you know foresee what might happen in the next. Couple of years, right? And you know, crypto has changed so much within the last five years. So we don't know if our predictions were going to be ringing true in the next five years or so, or even in the right. next decade, right? Yeah, so right. with this kind of high volatility, right? How can traders sort of navigate the high volatility often seen in the cryptocurrency markets? Navigation the ups and downs in cryptocurrency market, which we call volatility, can be a bit like a riding a roller coaster. Stay calm and patient, just like on a roller coaster again. It's important to stay calm and not panic when prices go up or go down very quickly. Sometimes markets go up and down a lot, like when you go up and down on a roller coaster. And use safety gear, like it's a risk management. Traders can use tools like stop loss orders to protect themselves.、Um, it's like a safety net. And learn and understand.、Uh, this is very very important to learn about how markets work and the price why prices might go up go, or go down. This helps you understand what's happening. Just like、uh, knowing how a roller coaster works helps you enjoy the ride. And ask the help. Ask for help. If you are not sure about something, it's okay to ask for help from experts or people who know more about trading. They can explain things and help you make、uh, good decisions. And、uh, yeah, that last is enjoy the ride. Remember,、um, trading can be exciting, like like a roller coaster ride, even the ups and downs. And learn from each experience. By staying calm, using safety law, safety tools, learning, and asking for help, and、uh, and enjoying the trade, traders can navigate through the excitement and the changing challenges of the cryptocurrency market, just like a、uh, riding a fun roller coaster. I see. Right. It's, it was. Sorry, I was giggling throughout because.、Uh, <laughs> I hate roller coasters, right?、Oh. <laughs> For the record, <laughs> I love、I'm、it just, so much. I'm just terrified of them. I'm just scared, right? It's,、uh -huh. it's just something that I I can never. So so when you're saying you know to enjoy like a roller coaster inside my head, I'm like thinking, wow, <laughs> how am I ever going to enjoy any roller coaster? <laughs> well, I get your point. I get your point. I get your point that you know there there is a certain you know sort of excitement of it going up. And there is a certain excitement of it going down because you're anticipating it to go up again, right? Yeah. So,、mm -hmm. so it it it's 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 not just the act of trading itself that's fun. It's also the journey that gets you there, right?、Mm -hmm. I I I understand that. So, what are some specific strategies to、mm -hmm. capitalize on the volatility in the these markets? Um, okay, I will give you some simple strategies to explain how traders can take advantage of volatility in cryptocurrency markets. The first is、uh, buy low and sell high. This is very simple, but not really simple. When price go down, go low, some traders buy cryptocurrencies because they think the price will go up again. It's like、uh, buying toys on sale and then selling them when the price goes back. Next is sell high and buy low. When price goes up, some traders sell cryptocurrencies to make a profit. Then, when prices go down again, they buy more cryptocurrencies to hold the next rise. <clears throat> It's like、uh, selling toys、uh, when they are popular and then buying them back when they are cheaper. And next is a、uh, quick trade. 
Um, some traders make quick trades when prices go up or go down a lot in a short time. Like uh, we call we call these traders as a scalper, mm. and uh, they try to buy and sell cryptocurrencies fast to make a profit from the price changes. It's like uh, playing a fast game where you move quickly to win prize. And the last is a uh, holding for long term. Other traders believe a cryptocurrency for a long time and uh, hold on to it even when prices go up and go down. They hope that over a long time the price will go up a lot and they will make a big profit. It's like keeping a special toy because you you think it will be worth more than later. These strategies help um, traders make decisions about when to buy and sell cryptocurrencies based on how price change. Just like uh, playing games, traders use different strategies to try and uh, win the cryptocurrency market. Mm, okay, okay, that makes sense. Uh, right, okay, so but but it's to I guess for many traders, it's still sort of like new right this whole mm. this whole industry so suppose today i or me right i am just starting out in cryptocurrency cfds mm -hmm. trading right mm -hmm. uh you know is there any sort of advice that you would give me or you know anyone for that matter advice to new people yes um okay if you just starting out crypto cfd trading i give you um some simple advice one is learn first like learning how to play a new game is important to understand how trading works learn about cryptocurrencies how markets move and the different strategies people use to trade and start small just like playing with a few toys at first start trading with a small amount of money that you can afford to use this way you can learn without risking too much and third is use use the safety tools like uh, um, wearing protective gear when playing sports, use tools like uh, stop loss orders to protect your money. These tools help yourself if the price goes too low to prevent <clears throat> uh, prevent big losses. And uh, ask for help if you are not sure about something. It's yeah, again, please ask someone, even the uh, um, platforms help center or your friend or your teacher they can explain things and give you good advice and be patient just like when learning a new skill trading takes time to understand and um, get better at don't rush and try to learn from every trade you make the last one is have fun and learn remember trading can be very exciting and a way to learn about how money um, and the market works and uh, enjoy the experience and try to learn as much as you can along the way by following these tips you can start your journey in cryptocurrency safety trading in a safe and fun way just like uh, playing a new game mm. all right and and what are some like you know the main conceptions that new traders might have about cryptocurrency cfds i mean it's uh, everybody's speculating everybody doesn't really know what they are obviously the fact that we're doing this podcast is to shed light on what crypto cryptocurrency cfds are right so what are some of the common misconceptions new traders might have about cryptocurrency cfds um okay easy money some people think trading cryptocurrencies will make them rich very quickly it's like uh, thinking you you will find lots of treasures without working for it. But trading takes time and learning. Second is always going up. New trades might think that prices will always go up for the cryptocurrencies they buy. It's like uh, expecting your favorite toys price to only go higher and higher. But prices can go down too. Uh, there is no risk. Okay, again, some people think there is no risk in trading. It's like uh, thinking you won't fall down while learning to ride a bike without training wheels. But just like a bike riding, trading has risks you need to be careful about. And everyone with win, everyone <clears throat> wins. The, they might think 
everyone who trades cryptocurrencies always make money. It's like uh, thinking everyone who plays a game always win, but not everyone win all the time in the trading. And the last one is uh, instant success. Again, many people think they will be <clears throat> become experts and uh, make lots of money right away. It's like expecting to become the best player in a game without practicing first. Trading takes practice and learning. These are some things new traders might misunderstand about cryptocurrency CFDs. It's important to learn and be patient when starting to trade, just like learning any new skills of game. Mm, okay, yeah, that, that, that all makes sense. Uh, mm -hmm. So with, with all of this in our heads, right, uh, mm -hmm. how do you think traders should prepare for potential future developments in the market? Um, okay, that's a good question. Um, okay, stay informed. Just like uh, keeping it up with news about your favorite games or toys, traders should learn about what's happening in the cryptocurrency market. This means reading news, watching videos, and uh, talking to others who knows about trading. Second is learn from others like uh, asking friends how they play games. Traders can learn from people who have more experience. They can share tips and strategies that might help you make a good decision in trading. And uh, be patient, like uh, waiting for your turn in a game. Trading can take time to understand and get good at. It's important to be patient and uh, no rush into marketing decisions. And use safety tools. It's like, a, again, wearing a helmet when you're riding a bike. Traders use tools like stop losses order to protect their money. These tools help you help, help yourself if the price goes down too much. And think long term, like planning for the future. Trading Traders can think about their goals and how long they want to keep their investments. This helps them make smart decisions and when the market goes up and down. By staying informed, staying informed and learning from others, being patient, using uh, safety tools and uh, thinking long term, traders can be ready for whether it happens in the crypto market. It's like uh, being prepared for different outcomes in the game. You want to be ready for the anything. Okay, great. That makes sense, right? So it's not just, I guess it's not just the act of trading, but also mm. preparing to trade, right? So there's a lot of of background work that happens behind the trade, you know, be it research or be it like, you know, setting in place tools to make sure that you make the most optimal trade every single yeah. time. And mm -hmm. and it, like you said just now, it's it's not always about making the profit, right? Mm -hmm. But it's also about anticipating, you know, to cut your losses when they happen and also making as much profit uh, when possible when the market goes up, right? All right, mm -hmm. that's that's... That's a lot to think about, right? Thank you so yeah. much, Sarah. I think, you know, we've come to the end of uh, today's podcast. Uh, yeah. I I really appreciate you sharing with me more about cryptocurrency CFDs. <laughs> I think I think there's a really niche place for, for this place. I, I won't say niche. I think there's a real use application for cryptocurrency CFDs, right? Because uh, honestly, holding and managing space you know, the assets of cryptocurrency can be such a chore because you have to be so aware of handling the security and handling mm -hmm. the, the, the the whole product, the whole process, right? Yep. So mm -hmm. having the ability to trade and, and really gain from the p price action of, of cryptocurrencies without having to own it itself is really a, is the main thing that's selling to me because most people are in the market for the money, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So and and yeah, really, uh, you know, your your views have really helped me understand the market a lot more. So thank mm -hmm. you so much for that. Yeah. Okay, thank so, you very much. Mm -hmm. No worries. Yeah. So uh, uh for all that are listening in, right? Thank you so uh -huh. much for joining us on the podcast. Uh, mm -hmm. you know, we we hope to see you again the next time and <laughs> where we will share more and more about you know market news and insights yeah. and you know perspectives that will better help you understand the cryptocurrency mm -hmm. markets. Mm -hmm. That's great. All right. I'm all happy right. To take care you. until next okay. time. Bye bye. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Join us for the next episode of the VT Markets Traders Brew podcast, where we'll continue to explore the fascinating world of the financial markets. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, there's always something new to learn.
Our podcast is available on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Amazon Music, and iHeart. Be sure to subscribe to us on those platforms for new episodes of our Traders Brew podcast. CFDs are complex instruments and come with a high risk of losing money rapidly due to leverage. Trading leveraged products such as forex and CFDs carries a high level of risk and may not be suitable for all investors. There is a possibility of losing all your initial capital. Before trading, you should fully understand the true extent of your exposure to the risk of loss and your level of experience. Please note that past performance does not constitute a reliable indicator of future results. Future forecasts do not constitute a reliable indicator of future performance. If you do not fully understand the risks involved before deciding to trade, you should fully consider your investment objectives, level of experience, and risk tolerance. You should become aware of all the related risks and seek independent advice from a suitably licensed financial advisor.